Hi all, and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about the screen, the most important part of an iPad or any device that you are looking at at the moment. Today we're going to talk about unresponsive, not being able to touch or it is not responding to your touch and also small flickering uh, lines or green uh, background on your screen that is not supposed to have. First of all, we are going to look at the unresponsive part and uh, that part is where you are not able to do anything on your screen and uh, that can of course be very annoying. The first part is of course to clean your screen. You can take some wipers or whatever you have and uh, give it a good go. Take one out, just give it a go like this and make sure that you have a clean screen that can be a lot of dust, dirt, whatever you have put on your screen and especially the ones where you use your fingers, it will of course get dirty once in a while. So make sure to clean your screen once in a while to uh, avoid this problem. The next thing is of course to do a soft reset or a restart of the iPad and uh, for my one it is up down volume and uh, go on the power button and in a few seconds it will go black and restart so uh, that is of course a very good way to always solve issues on an iPad to do a restart because that can actually solve a lot of issues both related to the screen but also related to Wi-Fi Bluetooth whatever you have uh, not working on your device so we uh, have it a soft reset as I call this one or a restart and uh, see if that can actually solve your issues. So uh, let's see if I'm able to log in to my iPad again. Here we go. So next thing up is to look, have a look at the settings. So in here in the settings, you can go into accessibility and in here you have different uh, settings that you can uh, turn off and turn on. In here you have the uh, touch accommodations and as Apple also states if you are having trouble with your screen and not being able to touch it the right way then you can turn on this uh, touch accommodation. So Apple is actually aware that touching the iPad or whatever screen you have is actually sometimes an issue. So uh, Try to turn that part on. Also, as you can see, I have a case uh, protection on my iPad here. And uh, that is actually sometimes causing issues with the touch. So uh, it would be a good idea to take off your case protection, take it out and see if that is actually causing an issue. Remove the case and uh, see if that is working. All right, then the next thing that is also a setting in here is also under touch. Here you have the tap to wake. That is on by default, but uh, sometimes users actually report that turning that off can actually help the touch thing uh, be a much more uh, productive way of doing things. Uh, this functionality is just if you have a black screen, you can touch it to wake up. Now it's not able to, so now I have to use the power button, but uh, turning that off can solve the problem once in a while. People are actually reporting that. Uh, if you're using a pencil, an Apple Pencil on your screen, it is always a good idea to reconnect that part, so that is would be uh, within uh, your Bluetooth and try to turn off your Bluetooth, turn it on again and reconnect your Apple Pencil, that can sometimes be the issue. So the, the next thing we also had to look at is flickering screen. So that is having uh, issues where you have some lines on the screen, purple, green, whatever, or the whole background on your screen would be green or whatever color, so you are not able to see your uh, apps the best way and do not have the right colors in there. 
So what you can do is, of course, again, do a restart. We have already shown you that. So the next thing is also have a look at auto uh, brightness in here, as I just did. Under the display and text size, you go into the uh, bottom of the page and here you have the auto brightness and turn that off. That will, of course, be a bit annoying from time to time because now it is not adjusting the brightness uh, automatically, but you can, of course, do it here yourself. But that can actually sometimes be the root cause of having flickering screen or at least screens that is not showing the best way. Another thing you can also have a look at in here is the motion. So here you have under accessibility, you have the motion section and up here at the top, reduce motion. So you can actually try to turn that off. That is actually causing sometimes apps at least uh, to having an uh, issue with the best way of showing on the screen. And if you're having an older iPad, that is sometimes the case. So try to turn off the reduced motion. And what uh, else we have in here regarding flickering screen, that is the apps. You're using apps for all your things in here and sometimes it is misbehaving apps. So when you open an app, if I take Netflix here, you don't see what you expected and it's not looking as it is supposed to, then uh, yeah, have a look at your app and at least go into your app store and see if you can actually update your app to the latest version. Sometimes the apps is having issues with the screen and uh, a lot of the app developers and companies behind the apps will quickly uh, try to solve issues if they get reports regarding screen because that is the most important part of the app. So that is not something that they want to have out there for a long time. So make sure that you update your app to the latest version. I think that was more or less it. Regarding the screen, of course, always keep your screen uh, clean. And uh, as I said in the beginning, use uh, whatever you have to get your screen cleaned and do uh, ha have a towel and make sure to wipe it afterwards. Last thing I want to show, I have a video on this, but if you're still having flickering screen, I have a older iPad here, you can also try to put it like this with the back up and just gently, very gentle, push down a bit on the back of it. Sometimes the cables inside your iPad is actually getting a bit loose and especially for the old ones or if you have dropped your iPad on the floor or whatever, then uh, push down a bit very gently. That can actually sometimes uh, tighten the the cables inside your iPad a bit and uh, make sure that the screen is working again. But uh, be gentle, it is not working all the time, but I have seen it quite a few times to solve flickering screen. I guess that's it for today. If you like what you see, have a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever you like about this, and uh, we will get back to you if you comment on the video. Thank you very much.